Hey there everyone, this is Danielle taking a look at Dragon Quest Builders 2. Uh, as you can see, I don't have the full game. I've just grabbed this jumbo demo because they had a little article here in the news telling me that they have a jumbo demo now available, so I thought I'd give this a shot, see if I want to get the game or not. That rhymed, I didn't intend that to rhyme, but it did. Anyway, um, so yeah, I don't know how long this demo is. I'm guessing it's pretty big because it's a jumbo demo. So if it runs for like longer than an hour, I'll probably cut off the video there and just say, just give my thoughts then. But you know, if it's if it's relatively shorter than that, then I might, I might just play through the whole demo on the video. We'll see how we go. Uh, I don't want to make the video too long, obviously. So, um, let's see how this goes. Licensed by Nintendo, Nintendo Switch loading. Okay, I can see a slime hopping around on the little loading thing in the corner there. That's pretty cute. Pretty adorable. Uh, seems to be slowing down. Is it supposed to do that? Is that showing the loading process or is it like buggy? <laughs> hmm. Well, we'll see. Slime jump. It's taking a while. I feel like it should be a bit quicker than this. Maybe it's like a first time setup thing. I haven't tried to run the game yet, so... Might need to do some stuff. Yo, that animation is not running consistently. You can see how fast it, like, how, how it looks when it's running it full speed, it looks okay, but then it sort of freezes. Hmm. It's very weird. Okay, Square Enix. Koi Tecmo Games, produced by Omega Force. Dragon Quest Builders 2 Jumbo Demo. Press A to start. Uh, I guess I'll start a new game. It's time to design your character. Select the gender. Oh no, there's only two of them. Oh no. And they rotate really slowly. Oh, I'm pushing the stick as far as it'll go. Looks like this is digital, like you tilt it, regardless of how far you tilt it, they turn at the same speed. So, that's obnoxious. Anyway, I'm gonna be the girl. I kinda wish there were more options, but there aren't. So that's not a great start. Uh, let me see, hair. Uh, let's, let's go with purple, there we go. Uh, make it a little more pale. I feel weird playing characters of colour because I'm white and I can't really claim to know that experience. Um, there we go. Me with purple hair. <laughs> and her name. Uh, it's alphabetical, that's obnoxious. Uh, is there a room with any L? Yes, there is. I'll just put my name in. There we go. Are you happy with this character? You can change your character's appearance, gender, and name once you reach a certain point in the game. When you get to the gender identity clinic. <laughs> you can now adjust the game's settings. Once you're happy, select confirm to save your changes and start the game. You will be able to change these settings later. Uh... I guess I'll leave this on the defaults and see how they go. Uh, well, there's more pages. Uh, yeah, network is on, character outline. Sure, sure. I guess all these defaults are probably okay. But you can see there's lots of stuff you can tweak if you want to tweak stuff. Water translucency. See water through glass. Build inoculars, cursor speed, plant growth. Okay, so hit confirm. Are you happy with these settings? If you choose no, the game will start using the default settings, but you'll be able to change them later. Okay, yes. Loading. Alright, so I guess we have a character now. It's, it's... There isn't a whole lot of options in character creation. Maybe there's more later on, there might just be the starting options. Um, like you can't change your hairstyle, for example, and there's only two genders, but 
I have a feeling that there's only two genders in this game, which is obnoxious. Venture forth, my children, and destroy all before you. That sounds bad. Is that the, the villain saying that, or...? Like, destruction is, is typically considered bad in these sorts of games, I think. I don't know anything else about this game yet. Okay, yeah, it looks like a villain. I don't mean to presume anything, but, you know. Thus decreed the great and glorious High Priest Hargon, and lo, his minions of mayhem did march out rank upon rank to ravage the land and strike fear into human hearts. Okay, I think this guy's a villain, yeah. <laughs> Our unholy father then gave up his mortal form so that Malroth, the master of destruction, might be reborn and the world be consumed by catastrophe. Wow, we're really starting off, like, real bad. <laughs> Alas, mighty Malroth was defeated at the hands of the despicable spawn of Erdrich before Hargon's glorious vision could be brought to life. Is that what happened in the first Dragon Quest Builders? I haven't played it, so I don't have any context. The moon has waxed and waned many times since that fateful day. Now peace reigns supreme, and our order has been scattered to the four corners of the earth. Tell me, brothers and sisters, and non-binary palsters, what does a monster do when backed into a corner? It bites, I say. We must do everything and anything within our power to bring this world to ruin. Huzzah! Huzzah! All hail Hargon! Praise be to Malroth! Okay, so the villains are regrouping. O oh, hellish father, hear our prayer. Deliver us from this world of oblivion. To Skyrim. Lead us ever onwards as we build the, your dominion of darkness together. Okay, so that happened. Dragon Quest Builders 2. Danielle. Oh, that's my name. Hello. You are the hero who will save this world. Arise, my child. Your destiny awaits. I'm having a sleep right now. Leave me alone, skeleton. Kehehe, <laughs> the look on your face. I was only ribbing you, my child. You're no hero, I know that much. You're one of them builders, right? Uh, yes? Kehehe, <laughs> you want to watch that mouth of yours, girl? Telling the truth might lend you with more than you bargained for. Still, at least you're not a master builder. You might only be an apprentice, but I'll do. I've actually got just the job for a lass like you. I wish we were doing like a skeleton voice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Once you've wiped the sleep from your sockets, come and meet me up on deck. I didn't know it was a skeleton talking, so I started with a different voice, but whatever. I'm not really good with character voices. Get a move on. Use the left stick to move your character and R to control the camera. Press B to jump. Okay, so I can... Okay, the camera seems to be sort of staying still as I walk around, unless I move it, or to, like, manually with the stick. Daniel peeks inside the pot. Pooh, whiff, what a pong. This must be the toilet. Looks like it hasn't been emptied for a very long time. Did I not already know that? Like, I've been here for a while, right? There's no response, it's just a skeleton. And not an alive skeleton, the other kind of skeleton. Oh, I can just get out of the prison just like that. Okay. Hello. Builder, Buildier, Buildier! It's Builder, but Buildier is funnier. Something to tell you. Did you know that you can run by holding L while R while you move around with a left stick? Yeah. I'm sure the extra speed will come in handy, but take care near high ledges, or we'll meet your maker sooner rather than later. Okay, so if I hold R, uh, yeah, I start running. And there's like a little stamina bar. Okay. Uh, I've got some barrels. I feel like these visuals are a little lackluster. I don't know, maybe there's reason for it to look like this. Ah, the builder. Tell me, girl, do the children of Hargon frighten you? Do you wish to flee from this floating coffin? These waters are cursed. Strange voices carry across the waves, and many a vessel has vanished into vapor, the crew victims to an unknown fate. Now, are you scared? Not as scared as I am, I assure you. I'll be off this death trap at the first opportunity. Oh, and I can jump. I forgot. Oop. I'm go up here if I want. I don't think there's a reason to do that, though. 
Did I take damage by touching that flame? I don't think so, but maybe. No, I didn't. Okay. Oh, hello. I couldn't help but overhear you hobnobbing with that dreadful dreadnought. So you're an apprentice builder, are you? I was going to ask if you come up with a plan to get us off this ship, but you're far too much of a rank amateur to figure out something like figure something like that out. <laughs> Why in the goddess's name did I ever become a builder? If I'd have been a farmer or a miner instead, I'd never been left to rot in this stinking cell. <laughs> we thought the children of Hargo were all but vanquished. They were running scared. How did they ever turn the tables on us like this? Okay, um, I'm just going to continue on to what I'm supposed to be doing. I think I'm going to go this way. Yeah. Stairs are no match for you, I see. You just can't keep a good girl down. <laughs> now, as you'll no doubt have spotted, we're sailing on the open ocean. You've got no chance of escaping, so don't even bother trying. Not that you get very far anyway, you're nothing but skin and bones. Here, get this down your gullet. It's fresh from the captain's table, which is where I sit, by the way. <laughs> Are you the captain, or like a friend of the captain's? Danielle pins a piece of kelp. Danielle can't remember when she last ate. The thought of food makes her stomach start rumbling. Believe it or not, that kelp can be eaten. Select it with... I think that's the D-pad left and right, and press X to eat it. Doing so will refill your fullness gauge and replenish some health. <laughs> Scoff that kelp before you conk out. Okay, so, yeah, let's give it a gobble. Cool. Down in one, that kelp's pretty tasty, isn't it? The pungent aroma and slimy texture make for a spine-tingling combination. You should thank your lucky stars you got to scoff such a scrumptious snack, because it'll be the last meal you ever eat. Yep, you heard me right, you'll be dead soon enough. But don't worry, you won't be shuffling off this mortal coil just yet. I've got plenty of hard graft for you to be getting on with first. Complete! Alright. Uh... Okay, I guess I'll talk to you again. Kehehe, <laughs> you can wipe that little livid look off your face. I'm not going to send you to the cemetery anytime soon. So long as you've still got some life left in you, I'll give you a chance to keep hold of it. But you'll have to follow my orders to the letter. What's that? You want to know who we are and what you're doing here? If you're that desperate to find out how far up the creek you are, without a paddle I might add, go and talk to those five monsters beneath the flag over there. Okay. Do Oh, I know you. You're the ones from the intro. Hello. Middenhall, Canuck, Moonbrook. From forth these three kingdoms did come the hated heroes, the Skions of Erdrick, and laid almighty Hargon low. With his dying breath, our exalted leader surrendered his mortal form so that Malroth, the Lord of Destruction, could be born. Alas, he too was vanquished. But does that mean all hope is lost? No, I say. Hargon's ambitions did not perish with him. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but one day we will reduce this world to ruin. Gross. Hello. You're that apprentice builder that we nabbed in Cantlin, aren't you? I'm, oh, I'm not. Oh, they have a lisp. I must admit, I feel a few pangs of sympathy for you. It's not very nice to know that your end is nigh. Kree hee hee. Oh, because their tongues are sticking out. That's why they have a lisp. I get it. Well, well, if it isn't little Miss Builder. You're only an apprentice, but you're prancing around like you own the place. Honestly, you can't go anywhere these days without bumping into an insolent little builder hellbent on doing all of our hard work. The world's going down the pan, that's for sure. Our only choice is to eliminate bothersome builders like you one by one. Tricky. <laughs> Ugh, this ship keeps swaying from side to side. I feel a bit seasick. What's that? You want to know where we're sailing to? I haven't the foggiest. The higher-ups would never tell stuff like that to a lowly little dracky. So you're a dracky? Okay, and you're a slime, right? Hello, Gooman. We're the last surviving members of the children of Har Hargoon, the ones who didn't get squished. We're going to bring this world to its knees, all in the name of the great and glorious, glorious high priest. They all have typing quirks. What's all the slurping? I'm just salivating the prospect of squashing you goomans once and for all. Slurp, slurp, slurp. Okay, I talked to them all. Am I done with that now? I'll go back over here. Oop, there's a hole there. <laughs> yeah, so you talk to the rest of the crew, eh? Obedient little blighter, aren't you? 
So now you know, we're the last survivors of the children of Hargon, loyal servants of the mighty Master of Destruction himself. That means you builders are our sworn enemies. We're sailing the ocean blue, rounding up pesky vermin like you, along with anyone else who gets in our way. Eh? You want to know what we're going to do with all these builders? Only the higher-ups know for sure, but I'll make no bones about it. I reckon you lot are up for the chop. Still, that doesn't mean we can't make the most of what little time you've got left. Just be thankful you can be of some benefit as your final moment draws ever closer. Complete. Okay. Do, do I just spend my whole game talking to skeletons, or can I do some other stuff? Listen up, builder. Unless you want to spend the rest of your life behind bars, or worse, you'll do as I say. Alright. So here's the deal, last night's storm messed up my ship good and proper. I want you to make things ship shape around here again. To start with, I want you to break up all the driftwood strewn about the deck and bring me the wood when you're done. Go on, chop chop. Each piece of driftwood is marked with a, I, a circle thingy icon, a, a pin icon? Run up to one and press Y to punch it into something useful. Okay, so I can punch this driftwood. Job done. Well, well, my deck looks in much better shape than you picked up all that wood. No flies on you, eh? Still, I suppose being given the chance to save your sorry skin will tend to give you a kick up the cockix. You want to know why I'm giving you this chance? Truth is, as a sworn servant of the Master of Destruction, I'm not supposed to fraternize with your kind, but considering the state of my ship, I've got no other choice. Anyway, it's not like you're a proper builder. You're only an apprentice at the end of the day, so I'm sure it's fine. You wouldn't forsake me for a little thing like this, right? Anyway, I think we've chewed the fat long enough. If you want to cling on to your life for a little longer, it's just to continue working like the beautiful little builder you are. Just remember, you can get all sorts of useful materials by smashing things up. Just be careful that what you bash doesn't bash you back. Complete. You're an odd one. Since the moment I let you out of that cell, you've been scurrying about my deck and chatting with my crew without a care in the world. If anything, I'd wager you were actually enjoying this. There must be something wrong with you. I can't explain it any other way. I mean, why else would you wear that dopey grin on your dopey mush? Faced with the same fate, most prisoners would be scared witless, but not you. You what? You always look like that when someone's got a job for you? Hmm, seems like you aren't scared of us at all. I better keep you busy or who knows what you might try and pull. Luckily, there's plenty for you to be getting on with. For starters, some of the boys on deck have got jobs that need doing. Report back to me when you've sorted them out. Who needs work done? Oh, don't go in the hole. Uh, this fellow. I've been watching you, Builder. I saw you scrabble around the deck, greedily pocketing all the wood you could find. The raging tempest that struck last night washed all of our navigation lights overboard, but such things can be rebuilt, can they not? To wit, I wish for you to use the wood you collected to make some new torches. Do you see the worn-out workbench over there? Use it to make five torches. Here, I believe you will need this oil to craft them. Three splats of oil. Once you have the torches, you must put them back in their proper positions. The five black boxes blocks will be your sign. There is one by the workbench and four more around the stairs that lead below decks. Place one torch upon each block. Do not fail me, builder. Craft the five torches and put them back in place. Return to me when you finish the task. You make some torches at the workbench. Do -do. Build. Uh, torch, yes. I can make five. Okay, I have five torches. Torches can be placed on top of other blocks. Select the item with the button, press X to put one down. Okay. Uh, so, uh, do, do, do. Okay, so I just place the torches like this. Job done. Hmm. Seems you've done exactly as I asked. The guiding flames burn brightly as before. For a ship such as ours, they could do with being a touch more sinister, if I do say so myself. But I shan't complain, the deck is illuminated once more. I must say, your propensity to create unsettles me. Not that it matters, you'll soon outlive your usefulness. But your work is not over yet. There are others aboard this ship who might still find some use for you. Go to them, I pray. Complete. 
Okay, so this is clearly a tutorial, but it's disguised as them, you know, wanting to kill you. <laughs> Hello. Well, if it isn't the so-called builder. Anyone think you own the place the way you're strutting around this deck? What's with the attitude? You're running errands for the boys on the captain's orders? You want me to give you a job to do? Tell you what, you can help me relieve the boredom of being stuck on this good-for-nothing ship. As long as you're not afraid to put your life on the line. Truth is, I've always wondered whether builders can fight. How do you feel about going mano a mano with a monster? Or oh, you, fancy taking a swing at this kid? Just trying to kill her, eh? <laughs> Alright, better put them jukes up. I warn you though, that skeleton soldier's a proper head case. Come and find me after the fight's finished. If you can still walk. Okay, so I need to fight that guy. Doesn't even tickle. Oh, I win. I think. Yay! The skeleton is defeated. It's fine now. Well, you're a better boxer than you look, I'll give you that. Still, the only thing those pathetic punches of yours hurt was my pride. Not that I should be surprised, you're pretty bony for someone who claims to be a builder. It doesn't exactly bode well for your future career, does it? Lucky you don't have a future to speak or speak of at all. <laughs> Alright, be off with you. Go and tell the the bosun Bosun? What a weakling you are. You fight worse than a wet washcloth. Yeah, you fight like a cow's cadaver. You builders really aren't cut out for combat after all. Well, I won. What's that? You would have smashed him to smithereens if you'd had a weapon? Yeah, likely story. You're gonna bash him upside the skull with one of them torches that you're wizard whipping up? Don't make me laugh. Huh? What's that book you've got there? Eureka! Danielle learns a new recipe. Cypress stick, a broken branch whittled to work as a weapon. Attack plus eight. Sounds good. Don't just stand there smirking, tell me what's so funny. You what? You just worked out how to make a cypress stick? Well, I never. Are you telling me that builders can invent things as well as make them? Well, learn to stand around looking gormless, put your money where your mouth is and make this cypress stick then. You know where the workstation is, right? And one more thing, once you've made it, don't forget to equip it. Weapon's no use otherwise. Time to go make a cypress stick. Huh, you have to use the d-pad, that's interesting. You acquire a new weapon, select it with the D-pad, and press X to wield it. Try equipping the Cypress Stick to deal some extra damage. Danielle equips the Cypress Stick. The girl genius returns, Cypress Stick in hand. Now you really look the part. What do you say? Fancy another crack at that old bag of bones, now you've got a weapon? Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's the spirit. I want to watch that rotter try and put himself back together once you're through with him. That was easy. <laughs> Ugh, a bone-crushing defeat. I don't know if I can pick myself up after this one. Go on then, lass. Go and brag about beating me to the bosun. Well, you certainly gave that bag of bones a good hiding. Just look at the state of him. The only thing he's good for now is feeding a dog. <laughs> you what? You feel a bit sorry for him? <laughs> That's a new one. Why'd you know human ever shed a tear for a monster before? Just don't think you can butter me up by tickling my funny bone. Anyway, thanks for that, Builder. It certainly helped pass the time, if nothing else. I even think I learned something today. You builders are useless in a fist fight, but with a weapon in hand, you're not to be sneezed at. But you're not done for the day just yet, not by a long shot. I've got a feeling in my bones there's someone else on board who needs a helping hand. Okay, so we've learnt how to craft torches, we've learnt how to craft weapons, um, so we can hit stuff with them. Uh, you there, you need help? Hello. My, my, you have been a busy little lady, haven't you? First you made those torches, and now a cypress stick. But one can hardly call oneself a builder without one's tools of the trade. Where are yours, builder? Do you even have any? Uh, yes. 
Liar, the only thing you're carrying is that cypress stick. You haven't a single tool upon your person. Well, I think we'd ought to do something about that, hadn't we? I confiscated this pair of gloves from the builder in the brig below decks. Now they're yours. With these equipped, you'll be able, capable of hoisting up a whole host of objects without the need to smash them first, ideal for organising your articles in an orderly fashion. So, without further ado, take your newfound gloves, gather up all the barrels strewn higgledy piggledy about the deck, and place them on the mat beside me. Yeah. New tool acquired, gloves. Pick stuff up and plonk it down. They're being really nice, considering. Use the gloves to move objects from one place to another. Press ZR to pick something up and put it down, and press Y while holding something to rotate it. Okay. This is pretty easy. Is that okay? Will I do that? I guess not. I like how you Naruto run, that's great. <laughs> do, 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 do. There you go. Wonderful work. Six perfectly positioned barrels. I'm sure you'll agree that a pair of gloves is an indispensable tool for any budding builder. I was under the impression that the youth of today were nothing but a swarm of work shy wastrels, but based on your showing just now, I have to reassess my stance. Alas, no matter the blood, sweat, and tears you shed in servitude, you'll always be a builder, the eternal enemy of our exalted order. I fear your time among us will be but sure, but your fate is not for me to decide. That is the captain's responsibility. So is the captain that skeleton, or does he just sit at the captain's table? It would appear you have attended to everyone's errands for now. Hurry along and inform the good captain you require some more back-breaking chores. I guess that guy's the captain? Not bad, not bad. Looks like you've done everything the lads asked of you. Nice to see a human working her fingers to the bone for us monsters, and without a word of complaint, neither. If I doubted it before, I'm certain now. You actually like this sort of thing. You're a proper weirdo, you know that? Still, I won't be satisfied until I hear it from the horse's mouth, so to speak. Do you enjoy building things? Yeah, of course you do. It's what gets you out of bed in the mornings, I can tell from the look on your fleshy face. You've got all the makings of a master crafter. And that's why we can't let you live. Complete. Well, with you, what with your builders being our mortal enemies and everything, I can't exactly have you running bow to stern, building like Billio, now can I? I'm sorry to say it, kid, but I'm gonna have to sever that smiling skull from your shoulders right now. Yeah, <laughs> just tickling your ribs. Don't look so scared. I'm not really gonna lop your noggin off. Well, as long as you stay on my good side, that is. After all, I wouldn't want to lose a willing worker like you. I reckon you've got what it takes to be a cracking little cabin girl. And what's more, I like the cut of your jib. What do you say, lassie? Will you join my skeleton crew? You don't have to say anything. I can tell you're too overcome with joy to thank me now. Actually, there's something else I've been meaning to ask you. What's that big book you're looking around? I've never seen anything like it before. It's my crafting recipe book. Oh, it's raining. Huh? Where did this rain come from? The sky. Wah! You'll tell me later, lassie. It looks like there's another storm rolling in. Ah, an apprentice builder. You will do nicely. Alright. I pressed A, nothing happened. Uh, just have to wait. This is your world to create, and yours to destroy. I guess I have to wait for this to go through before I can continue. I can move the camera though, which is interesting. Now, come to me, my child. Alright, how do I do that? Oi, cloth ears, what are you gawking at? Didn't you hear me? I told you to get your fleshy rump below decks into the hole. It's far too dangerous up here for a landlubber like you. Alright, uh, I guess I'll go to the hold. Oh, wow, what the heck's going on? Do, 
Captain, come to the hole quickly. We're in deep goo goo down here. Lime, you don't like the sound of this. Hold tight, I'm on my way. You all right there, Builder? Ugh, but I can't be stopping to help some human. I've got to get to the hold. Hargo and Preservus, this is bad. This is really bad. Hey, Builder, get your bony out backside in here pronto. I need your help. Can I, can I move? There we go, I'm getting back up. Over here, Builder. Oh, that's not good. What took you so long, eh? I've got bad news, Builder. We've been swept right into a reef and a rock's gone clean through the hull. If we don't fix this fast, we'll be heading down to J Davy Jones' locker. I don't know if this will work, but try cramming a crate into that hole. You've got a pair of gloves, don't you? So use them! Oop. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like Minecraft. <laughs> Minecraft water. That was the closest shave than I've liked, but you did it. You've saved my... Oh, throw me a bone, not more holes. Are there more holes? Oh, yeah, there we go. Wow, we're taking on more water. You've got to do something. Use some more crates and plug all those holes up. Flush, flush, flush. Flush, flush, flush. You're a lifesaver. Builder or no, I owe you one. But our running with that rock has made mincemeat of my hull. The next wave that hits us could... Wow, I knew it! It's a race against time, Builder. Cram some more crates in those holes and hurry! Is it actually a time limit here? Like, it doesn't seem like the water's flowing any further than it already has. And I can't see a timer on screen anywhere, but maybe maybe it's actually timed, I don't know. You shored up my ship good and proper, Builder. I don't know where we'd be without you. She'll hold for now, but who knows how much long... Oh, throw me a bone, we're done for! Holy moly, look at that one! We don't have any crates big enough to plug up a hole that size. This is it, Builder. It was nice knowing you. Don't forget me, Builder! Okay, so I'm guessing I'll escape from the ship by having it wrecked like that. Square Enix. Oh, my hair went blonde. I'm blonde now. General Director Yuji Hori. <gasps> that was dark. Koichi Sugiyama? Yeah, I'm blonde now. Oh, I'm being rescued by hand. Builders. Dragon Quest Builders 2. Is that the end of the demo? Is that what's happening? I'm not really sure. Okay. 
Saving. Loading. <laughs> Still loading. Still loading. Still loading. <laughs> Still loading. Okay, we're back. Danielle awakens on a sandy shore. It seems she has washed up on a desert island along with the wreckage of the skeleton ship. She decides to take a look around to see what she can see. Um, well, I'm clearly in Minecraft world. Let's take a look at that. Can I swim? Doesn't look like it. That's some driftwood. Might come in handy. Treasure chest? Suddenly Daniel hears a voice. There's nothing here. The whole place is deserted. Where is this place anyway? How did he even get here? The voice seems to be coming from the other side of the rocky outcrop. Daniel might be able to dig through the sand to get to the other side. Why was there kelp in a treasure chest? That's just weird. <laughs> Well, I didn't lose any of my tools and stuff, so that's cool. Uh, I've got a little mini-map in the corner now. I think that's new. That wasn't appearing at the skeleton part at the beginning there. I move slower in water. That's, that's annoying. But I can grab some more kelp, so that's cool. Um, okay. Let's make our way over here where it's telling me to go. Break these sand blocks. Well, there's someone over here. Isle of Awakening, the land of infinite opportunity. Sky is such a strange colour. Have I died and gone to heaven? Or hell more likely. Huh? What was that noise? Oh, it's that guy from the video we just watched. Hey bunches, who the heck are you? Bunches? I, I'm, I have pigtails, that's not bunches. Finally, a live one. Say, you wouldn't have to know how he wound up here, would you? You were on a ship that sank, and then you woke up on this beach? So how come you didn't cark it too? What's your story? Your name's Danielle, and you're an apprentice builder. Huh, never heard of one of them before. Congratulations, I guess. Anyway, my name's Malros. You're Malros? Hey, you wanna do something really gruesome? Follow me. You're Malros? What? What's the matter? You're not squeamish, are you? Come on, you won't be disappointed. Uh, I'm a little squeamish. Can I break this? Oh, I'm not, not strong enough. Can I pick it up? I can. I can't break it. Over here. If you want to see something really grim, follow me. Right, I'm following you. Oh no! Now that's what I call dead in the water. But you've never seen anything like this before. Seems like you and me are the only survivors from the shipwreck. What's that? You don't remember seeing me on board? But if I wasn't on your ship, then how did I... Cough splutter. What the? 
Hey, that girl isn't dead after all. How do you know they're a girl? She sounds like she's in a pretty bad way, though. We should do the right thing and put her out of her misery. Oh my god, no we won't. That's terrible. Ugh. Gasp. Oh, I know you. You were on the ship we were just on. Where am I? How did I get here? The end. Eep! You're p, p, p pirates, aren't you? Filthy freebooting brigands who shall take me captive and demand a ransom for my safe return. Wah! You met me a few minutes ago. What's what's up with you? Reap. There she goes. She's got a mouth on her, hasn't she? Y yes, she, she does have a mouth. There's only one way to make sure she shuts up for good. Mind if I do the honors? Uh, I hate you. You're you're super creepy. Stop following me. Why did you go behind this door when there's like an opening right here? <laughs> Get away from me, you villains! If you're gonna take me captive, at least tell me where we are and how I got here. Well, we're on an island with nothing but sand, rocks, and a few corpses to keep us company. You must have washed up here with Danielle when your ship sank. Just a moment. Do I know you? Oh. Yes, I remember. You're that builder from the ship, the one who ran around grinning while those horrid monsters barked orders at you. I know knew you were in cahoots with them, so this means this is all your fault. Well, what are you going to do about it? You're going to make the things we need to survive or wait for a rescue party? Oh, well, alright. Even a rank amateur like yourself should be able to use that worn-out workbench outside to make the most basic essentials. I'm Lulu, by the way. Now, what will we need to hold out until help arrives? Let me see. Mission. Lulu's Demands. We'll need shelter from the elements while we wait to be rescued. I'd rather not die of exposure before then. The walls must be at least two blocks high, and we'll need a door for getting in and out. Why don't you use this old shack? It's rather worse for wear, but I'm sure you can fix the place up. You can salvage some of the decking from the wreckage to patch up any hole. Just use those gloves of yours to pick it up. You won't have to worry about splinters that way. We have no idea how long it'll take for a search party to locate us, so we'll need to find enough sustenance to tide us over until we're rescued. There's bound to be a scallywinkle or two on the seashore. They're edibles and give them a good grilling on a bonfire first. We'll need some wood to build a fire. Luckily for us, there are plenty of pieces of driftwood and broken barrels from the shipwreck lying about. You may as well put them to use. Now, I can't be expected to put my head down for the night on these lumpy old rocks. I need a proper bed if I'm to get my beauty sleep. I don't imagine you're capable of building four posters, so we'll have to make do with three piles of straw bedding. Place them in the room when you're done. I don't want to make one for Malroth, I hate him. Hey, don't stop telling him what to do, bossy boots. Who made you the leader here, anyway? Oh, pipe down, you Neanderthal. You even have the common decency to wear a proper shirt. Don't think you're impressing anyone with those oh-so-mighty muscles. I like Lulu. Say that again, and I'll show you how mighty these muscles are. Oh, Builder, you'll do these little favors for me, won't you? You'll save me from this savagery. Yeah, of course. That's wonderful. I knew you'd do exactly as I asked. You can consider these little tasks as training exercises, if you like. Then when you become a fully-fledged Builder, you'll have me to think for it. Training exercises? Who's this girl think she is? Remember what I said before about putting her out of her misery? Well, how about we put her out of our misery instead? Let's, let's not kill her. Leave her alone. She, she's... Stop following me. That girl looks me at the hump. First she won't stop whinging. The moment she wants something done, she's barking out orders like we're her servants. Don't let her bosh her around, okay? You're a builder at the end of the day, not her skivvy. What's a skivvy? Yeah, yeah, I know she's stranded here too, but that doesn't mean you have to help her. Don't be such a soppy sad case. She's a castaway at the end of the day. Same as us. She's got to look out for number one. That's my motto. By the way, there's something I've been meaning to ask. You know you said you were a builder? Is that, like, something to do with a duck's nose? No. Well, whatever this builder business is all about, I'll help you, but only so I don't have to hang around with her. Have you decided which variant you'll do first? If it was up to me, I'd mend these walls while we're here, just stuff some planks in the holes, and they presto, we've built ourselves a brand new room. Right? To be honest, I blanked out the rest of her requests. Speak to her again if you need a reminder. Leave me alone. I don't like you. Stop following me. Can I, can I tell him to not follow me? Inventory. Oh, uh, misc. Doesn't look like it. Settings? No. I guess I'll just have to live with it. Uh, 
Uh, I want to get that one that's up high. I think I need to do this to do that. Yeah, there we go. Make a room, make a room, make a room at least two blocks high. All the walls should be a little bit higher. To make a good room. There's no ceiling or anything, but I guess we can live without one. Room. Danielle, you repaired my room. Now I have somewhere to hide in safety should monsters attack. Not bad for a base apprentice. Just so you know, a room must have a door and walls at least two blocks high. That's the first rule of rooms. Anyway, I'm ever so happy to have a proper place to stay. And you two are very welcome to stop by any time you like. Uh, I'll stop by, but th this guy is really creepy. He keeps threatening to kill you. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't invite him to your house. He's he's probably gonna come in and kill you. Mission complete. Make a room. Yay. Okay, we'll need to build some beds. I don't think we have any straw. Well, she seems pretty satisfied with the new room. Right. Next up is dinner. She wanted to cook some of those scallywinkle things on a bonfire, didn't she? Is that something you can do? Yes. Leave me alone. Eureka! Danielle learns a new recipe. Bonfire. A big bundle of branches that burns brightly can be used to cook food. Yeah, that makes sense. What's the deal with that book? Huh? You just invented bonfires and now you can build one if you have enough materials? All you need to do is put together some wood and foil oil on that worn out, worn out workbench. Well, if it's oil you need, I can give you some. I run inside of a slime that got in my way earlier. Here. Gross. That only obtained with three splats of oil. All you need now is wood. That girl said you can get some from the driftwood and broken barrels on the beach. Whatever that means. Think about it for a second, Malros. It's obvious. Anyway, you better get that bonfire built. No use starving her. It'll only put her in a worse mood than she's already in. You want to kill her. Starving is a way to do that. Dude. Just go away. I, I will help her. You can stop. Alright, um... Yeah, you have to use the D-pads. Weird. Uh, anyway, yeah, we want a bonfire. There we go. And we need to get some scallywinkles as well. So I guess we'll just wander around in the water a bit, see if we can find some. I don't know if my stick has limited durability or not. I, I, I can't see a meter anywhere, but maybe. Hey, Danielle, I want to ask you something. I keep hearing about making and materials and builders. What does any of that actually mean? You smash things you find here and there to get materials which you use to make new stuff? That's what being a builder is all about? Oh, okay. I think I'm starting to get a clearer picture of what it is you guys do. How come I don't know already? Look, they might be worth ten a penny where you come from, but I'm telling you I've never met a builder before. Well, not that I remember, anyway. When I get my memory back, I'll tell you all about my blissful, builder-free childhood. In the meantime, if you need a helping, helping hand smashing stuff to get materials, then I'm your man. I destroy pretty much everything I touch. You know those scallywinkles Lily was asking for? There might be some knocking about nearby. Let's keep our eyes peeled and bag them all for ourselves. Go away. I don't like you. Uh... Well, that looks like a scallywinkle. Is that a scallywinkle? Yes. What's that funny looking thing you got there? It wouldn't be one of those scallywinkles that girl was jabbering about on about, by any chance? It is. Well, it smells pretty fishy to me. If we ate one of them raw, we'd be chucking up chunks until the break of dawn. And that's something I'd rather avoid. Well, we're gonna cook them, obviously. That's why I made a bonfire. Pay attention. I don't like this guy. I don't- I don't like him. I'm gonna narrator run. Hang on. Go away, slime. Oh, I can break this on these rocks. Okay. Maybe I, maybe I just broke the sand around the rock and not the rock itself. Okay. Um, well, I have two Scallywinkles now. I probably need at least three because there's three of us. And we're not allowed to not feed Malros. I really hate him. <laughs> I'll have to go hungry because he's a jerk and I hate him. There's no response, it's just a corpse. Good lord. 
The wave breaks on the shore and washes the body out to sea. Oh my god. Dark. Alright, anyway. Uh, we have a bonfire, so I guess I'll set it up out here. Uh, there we go. What's that you've made? It's hot as heck and it spits and crackles. It must be a bonfire. But are you sure you know what you're doing with that? You know you're not supposed to play with fire, right? Use a bonfire to cook food. Select an ingredient, put it on the fire with X, and then press A to start cooking. See what happens when you throw a scallywinkle on. Alright. Careful, Danielle, the scallywinkle just fell in the fire. Ah, that must be how you cook it. So you builders can make food, eh? Food too, eh? Still, it'd be a little, little while until our scallywinkle's completely cooked. Let's go and look for some more materials while we wait. Who takes a little time to cook? Just try to be patient. You'll be ready before you know it. Alright, so I go do some other stuff while I wait for that bar to fill up. Okay, it's done. Do, do, do. Collect. Daniel makes the first seared scallywinkle. <laughs> that aroma. Is that the smell of a succulently scared, seared scallywinkle? I must have it! Hand this over? Yes. Hi. I made it for you. Om nom 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 nom. <laughs> ah, the scent of the seaside combines perfectly with the gravelly crunch of the sand grain. Simply irresistible. Sounds gross. You don't have to limit your culinary repertoire to scallywinkles, you know. If you see anything else that looks vaguely edible, try cooking it on a bonfire. I find a cooked meal much more filling than raw fare, and it makes me feel healthier too. Just remember that cookery is all about experimentation. Yay! So I only need to make one, not actually three. Oh, how rude of me. I just realized I never asked your names. Danielle and Malroth, you say. I know you're a builder, Danielle, but what do you do, Malroth? Well, I'm... actually, I don't know what I do. I woke up on this island, but I can't remember anything before that. My memory's completely blank. Well, well, an apprentice builder and her amnesiac friend. What an unexpected partnership. Oh, we're not partners. If you think a guy like me would team up with a puny little runt like her, you must be dreaming. I hate him. <laughs> Speaking of dreams, I'm starting to feel a little drowsy. It's been a long, stressful day, and that seared scallywinkle has filled me up nicely. So, Danielle, how's progress going with the straw bedding I asked you to make? I'm really rather ready to hit the hay. Oh, I got a new recipe. So, you have to do them in order by the looks of things. Basic bedding and dry between the can be slept on. Cool. Here we go, she's got her book out again. What have you invented this time? Is that so? You reckon you can make straw bedding out of dry grass? Well, I think I saw some something dry and grassy along the shore to the west. Could that be what you're looking for? West, that's this way. Uh, I might put the rest of these on the fire. Oh, I can put one at a time. Okay, but I'll start a cooking and then we can let that cook while we go do other stuff. Seems like a good idea. Because I am getting hungry. I can eat these. That helps a little bit. Try cooking the kelp as well, actually. Might be might do something good. Is this dried grass? Yes, it is. Here we go, let's get some. Dry grass, dry grass. I don't know how much I need to make a bed. Let's have a look at the Buildopedia recipes. Bed, bed, bed. How do you make a bed? You need three. Okay, so we need nine total. We have more than we need. Cool. Alright, let's start heading back. I should try cooking the kelp as well. Oh, there's slimes. Hello, slimes. Get out of my way. I need to go back to the campsite. It's not really the campsite, I guess. Now to run. Okay, uh, I'm gonna eat that when it's off the fire. I'm not gonna give anything to this guy because he doesn't deserve food because I hate him. Uh, not bad. Uh, let's try cooking some of this kelp and see what happens.
And then I'm gonna make some beds. Gotta do that over here. Three piles of straw bedding. Yeah. What did I make? Can I, can I get it? Crispy kelp. Sounds good. Ten, yeah, it's good. Nice. Um, I cook the other scallywinkle. There we go. Okay, so let's put these beds in. Uh, let me see. Where's a good place for them? There we go, that looks good. This is wonderful, Danielle. You made a bed for me and a couple for yourselves, too. Taking a nap during the day will help to recharge our energy, and after the sun goes down, we're able to while away the dark and dangerous night in Dreamland. <sighs> I wonder what Mama and Papa would say if they knew I was rubbing shoulders with a builder. Oh, on Desert Island, no less. When the children of Hargon attacked my hometown of Rippleport, my parents were caught up in the fighting. Those maniacal monsters murdered them in cold blood. So I stowed away on that accursed ship, hoping to avenge their deaths, but I was caught before I had the chance to do anything. We all know what happened next. Oh, Papa, Mama, I may be marooned on a desert island with these two lumbering lummoxes, but I shall survive. I pray that you watch over me in these trying times. Anyway, thank you both ever so much for sorting over sleeping arrangements. It's been a long, hard day. I suggest we all get some well-earned rest. Complete. Yay. Okay, I'm just going to duck outside here. Let's grab this. There we go. Uh, can I cook something again and get it, like, double cooked? Maybe. I, I can see it shows a little pot icon for things that I probably want to cook. Uh, sleepy time. Let's see now. You repaired the room, sorted out my sleeping arrangements, made me supper. I do believe that's everything. I must say, it's a rare relic to have a builder around, and judging by the quality of your work, one would never imagine you were still only learning the ropes. I know we're stranded here, but in a weird way I'm actually looking forward to it. I shall give you even more work to do, so that you might blossom as a builder. The castaway life might be a little less luxurious than I'm accustomed to, but even so, I think this could be a fun little adventure. And as for you, Malroth, this could be the perfect opportunity to absorb a little culture, and maybe even some manners. Now then, Danielle, I want, I want you to go out at first light every morning and forage 30 scallywinkles and 50 strips of kelp. You must all be cooked by lunchtime or I shall be cross. <laughs> Mission complete. Do I actually have to do that? Or is that just like a joke? <laughs> uh, is it sleepy time? I thought Lulu might calm down a bit once she got what she wanted, but she's just as big a pain in the neck as she was before. Still, I'm impressed. Despite all her nagging, you made everything we need to stay alive. Wish I could do what you do. <sighs> hey, Danielle, can I have a go on that workbench? I want to try making something myself. Yeah, alright. Let's start here. How do I give you a go? What do you say? Will you let me have a crack on the workbench? I won't break it, I promise. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. I've been watching you make stuff all day, and I'm pretty sure I know exactly what to do. Watch this, Danielle. I'm going to be a builder, just like you. Now then, what was it you do first? No, that's not right. Damn it, why isn't this working? Alright, you asked for it. Grrrr. What did I do wrong? It doesn't make any sense. Ugh, why can't I make things? At this rate, I'll never be a builder. Ugh, forget it. I thought making stuff would be all fun in games, but it's actually way harder than it looks. Sorry, Daniel. I'll be relying on you to build things for me from here on out. And seeing as you made all that stuff for Lulu, I think it's about time you evened things out and made something for me. Oh, Danielle learns a new recipe. Oak and club, a stout and sturdy wooden cudgel, can only be used by Malroth. Attack plus 12. 
Why can't I use it? That makes no sense. Alright. Is that for me? What would I what would I want with a silly old stick? It's not just any stick, it's an oaking club. I can use it to whack stuff. <laughs> that sounds right up my alley. Alright, I'll take it. Give it here. Uh oh, what are you waiting for? Come on, come on, gimme, gimme, gimme. How do I do that? Uh give it to Malworth, there we go. Daniel gives an oaken club to Malworth. Hey, this really is a club and a half. I wonder how it performs. Anyone way to find out? Stand back while I give this beauty a few test swings. Please don't break the table. Ha ha ha, I like it. No, I love it. Squishing slimes will be so much more satisfying now. And just think you made it using only the junk we found on the beach. You're amazing. Thanks, Danielle. This club is the best present anyone's ever given me. I think. Huh? Danielle, can you feel that? Some kind of evil aura. It's like coming from a monster, but whatever it is, it's way more dangerous than those scrawny little slimes we saw before. This could be a good chance for you to learn a thing or two about how to fight. Just follow my lead and you'll be scrapping with the best of them in no time. The monster's somewhere down the coast to the west. Come on, I want to break in my new club by breaking that sucker's skull. Any destinations you've added to your map? Oh, I see. Uh, alright. Well, let's go. Uh, I might eat this scallywinkle first. There we go. I don't know if I need to keep that from going below zero or something. Like, I don't know if I'll die if it runs out. Maybe? Don't know what to expect. Ooh. Naruto run. Naruto run! A group of monsters appear. Ow! Hmm, the combat, there's not much to it. <laughs> as far as I can tell, anyway. Whoa, what was that? When you stuck your hand out just then, it was irresistible urge to slap it called a high five? It's something friends do to celebrate a job well done? Huh, never thought of myself as the touchy-feely type, but maybe I can make an exception for this high five malarkey. Anyway, how did you enjoy this the battle? I don't know about you, but I'm feeling fitter already. Oh. Daniel and Marwat's level increases. Oh. Marwat gets stronger and Daniel reaches level 2. A maximum HP increase. Felt good whacking that rat, right? It's like an irritating little itch has been well and truly scratched. But don't forget you're a builder, not a fighter. If you want to stick to the construction, you can leave the monster mashing to me. Still, building does look like fun. I wish I could make stuff like you do, but I guess wanton destruction is much more my bag. Anyway, let's head back to the hut before Lulu steals all the bedding. She's a wily one, alright. You better make sure you sleep with one eye open tonight. Wow. Danielle. I'm glad I met you. What do you say we explore the whole island together? Just you and me. But let's do it tomorrow. I'm about to conk out any second now. <laughs> Complete. Time to hit the hay. Resting in a bed during the daytime will restore your health, but climb into bed at night and you'll go straight to sleep and wake up bright-eyed and bushy-tailed the next morning. I'm not sure if there's like a clock or something to indicate how far through the day we are. I'm not seeing one. Uh, this looks interesting. Daniel examines the strange stone carving, but nothing happens. Alright. If you say so. Okay, let's head back to the house. Naruto run! Hey. 
Sorry, Danielle, but I'm far too tired to talk. We've got a big day ahead of us tomorrow, so I'm gonna get some shut eye. I suggest you two do the same. Alright. Time for bed. Good morning, you two. I hope you slept soundly because our new life as castaways officially begins today. Your first mission is to collect some kelp for breakfast from the beach. Eek! No! What is it, Lulu? A monster? It's my scallywinkle. It's disappeared! What? Alright, Mal, I'll throw it up. I know it was you. you perp I purposely only ate half of that seared scallywinkle last night, so I have the rest for breakfast. Give it back this instant. What are you withering on about? I haven't touched your manky half-munched mollusk. Huh? That aura. What's going on this time? Hey, you two. You're going to want to see this. Ah, there's the culprit. That monster must be the one who snaffled my scallywinkle. Ho, ho, ho. I'm getting the impression that's not a monster. It's like a creator spirit or something. Whoa, we just took it in the whole cliff. And are those steps? Ho ho ho, this way, young whip whip whippersnappers. Okay. That floating freak can't seriously expect us to follow it, can it? Hmm, second thoughts, maybe you'll be able to tell us something about this island. Danielle, Lulu, let's get after that monster. I've got some questions that need answering. No, these aren't steps. You have to actually jump up them, so it's um, not really a regular step. Okay, so we got like a little temple of sorts here. Oh, oh, this way, this way. Quick, quick, quickly now. I've been playing for about an hour, so I'm gonna finish up whatever this quest is, and then I'm gonna give final thoughts, I think. Stay where you are, you freaky fogey. I don't like this one bit. That mad old monster's even made the sky turn a funny colour. Who cares about the stupid sky? I want my breakfast, and usually you're gonna jolly well help me get it back. where we're going with this, but something's happening. <laughs> this way, kid, kid, kitty winkles. Nearly there. <laughs> He's leading us on a wild goose chase. Does that horrid hammer hood expect us to follow him all the way to the top of the mountain? That monster's got some kind of strange power. I haven't felt anything like it. We need to catch up. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's taking us to the top of the mountain, and I assume it has a reason to do that, so... I mean, they, I guess, not, not yet, because they have a voice. 
and personality and whatever. I don't know. Um, okay. Here we go. These are, these are steps. These are actual steps. That's more like it. Whoa. Ooh, treasure. What's a place like this doing on a desert island? Come on, Danielle, the hammerhood's just up ahead. Let's make it spill the beans and all the island secrets. There's no escape now, you sneaky scallywinkle swindler. Just hand over the bivalve and no one gets hurt. Surely a noble lady can bid a hungry ham ham hammerhood her half snarfed leftovers. I'll tolerate no excuses. Stealing is stealing. No ifs or buts about it. Danielle seared that skillywinkle, especially for me. Oh, gay. Now give it back, you horrible, hoary, hairy hermit. Ah, yes, Danielle. It just so happens that I've been waiting for a builder to rock, rock, or rock up here for... Oh, for a very long time indeed. Wait, how do you know she's a builder? Oh, you're an observant one, aren't you? Why, the very reason I pinched that scrum scrum scrumptious scallywinkle is to lure your fine friend up here. Look around you, Danielle. This temple has lain in this sorry state for longer than I can recall. If you are the builder I believe you to be, then perhaps you can fix 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 it. Everything you need to rebuild the temp temp temple is right here in these chests. But a fresh-faced builder like you might find the going diff diff difficult without a bold blueprint as a, gli as a guide. Come back here, you conniving old codger. If you think you're going to fix your house for free, you've got another thing coming. Anyway, what's a blueprint? Whoa. Something's happening. Daniel draws out a mountaintop temple blueprint. Oh. Okay, so I can see what pieces I need to repair it? Okay, cool. I need more of these masonry walls. I have only a few. I need more braziers as well. I see. Okay. Uh, Danielle, why did you draw all those lines on the ground? Is this one of those blueprints that Hanford was telling us about? Gosh, you've never been here before. You're still able to draw up a design for the mountaintop temple. That's incredible. All we have to do is build it. Make sure you follow the blueprint to the block now. Yeah, that old loony was telling the truth. These chests should contain everything you need to finish the job. It looks like all you need to do is place masonry wall blocks in squares and put a brazier on top of each one. Use your gloves to move them if you make a mistake. Are you ready to show Gary glows a lot how a real builder does things? Keep one eye on the blueprint and you can't go wrong. Build the spec. Press minus when you're standing on a blueprint if you're in pro about it. Check the blueprint as you build. Make sure every block is in its rightful place. Okay. So, I look in these chests now. Okay, that gets me more masonry. They only pay me some masonry wall blocks. Uh, I guess this one will be with braziers? Yes. They only pay me some braziers. Well, yeah, that's everything I need because those are the pieces that are missing. Like, literally. them all down like this. There we go. And we want crazy there. Do, do, do. Oops, that wasn't what I had in mind. Okay, so, this kind of reminds me of another game I really liked, that I played ages ago, uh, Kingdom for Keflings. It was on, like, Xbox Live Arcade, on the 360, and the game revolved around getting blueprints like this, that showed you where to put the different pieces of the buildings. It was a lot of fun. I liked it. Um, it was a lot of busy work as well, though, TBH. Danielle completes the mountaintop temple blueprint. Yay!
Good work, Daniel. You finished the blueprint. You didn't even break a sweat. I think you have to build me a palace next. That shouldn't be any trouble for an expert like you. Answer me one thing, though. How did you come up with that blueprint in the first place? Wait, I think I know the answer. That big book on your back is everything you need to know to be, to be a builder written inside. You're busted now, Danielle. The secret's out. You may as well let me read it. You won't? Why not? Is something the matter, Danielle? You've gone all red. Have I? I don't look red. My face is the same as before. Wait, you don't have a mucky magazine sandwich between the pages, do you? Oh my goodness. Muckiness doesn't matter to me. A quick wipe down with a damp cloth and it'll be good as... Ho ho ho. You finished repairing the temple, I see. I knew you wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't let me down. All it took was a glance. You dropped that blueprint as quick, quick, quick as a flash. You're the real deal, Danielle. A builder born and bred, bred, bred. Yay. Let's so thank you for your hard work, work, work. I'd like to give you a little present. Here, you deserve it for the crack, crack, cracking job you did. Yeah. Oh, it's a hammer. Bash blocks to bits with big hard hits. Yay. A silly old hammer. I thought you going to give back my breakfast. That's a giant mallet, an indispensable item in the tool kit kit. In the toolkit, kit kit, of any self-respecting builder. With that hammer in your hand, you can break, break, break blocks you couldn't before, and gather even more materials. We also have another cork, cork, corking gift for you, Danielle. I'm sure you'll like this one. I give you this island. All of it. Every last block, block, block. What? You're giving her this entire island? What she do is repair the temple. This world was once home to a legendary builder that came to this island, the Isle of Awakening, and sought to turn into their very own piece of paradise. Mm. But now everything has crum crum crumbled away. All that remains is the ancient builder's belief, embed bed bedded in the blocks beneath us. Long have I waited for another builder to come, one who can bring life back to this barren land, block by block, block, block. And you want Danielle here to do all the hard work? I don't even know what we're supposed to build. This pause between the scenes is pretty annoying. But we don't know who you are either. I bet silence isn't even yours to give away. It certainly is mine, mine, mine. I'll have you know I'm the guardian spirit of this island, and what I say goes. It looks like you've just become the proud owner of a private island, Danielle. Are you going to take the offer? If you do accept, would you mind if I stayed here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'll stick around too, or at least until I've got my memory back. I mean, if that's okay with you. What do you say, Danielle? Will you take the island? It's a stonk, stonk, stonking good offer. Yes? I just knew you'd make the right decision. Now we can begin work on Lulutopia. The first thing I want is a palace. Malroth, need you to... Lulutopia? I don't think so. Today we establish Malroth's Empire of Evisceration, right, Daniel? And she can be our first sacrifice. No. You don't get to kill Lulu. No. Ho oh, ho ho, you young upstarts, this island belongs to Danielle now. You should leave big, big, big decisions like these up to her. Now, Danielle, you must be itching to try out that giant mallet of yours. Come up and see if you can break, break, break this wall behind me. There's an absolutely smash, smash, smashing treasure back there that I think we're very interested in. Yeah, let's try it. Hammers are perfect for bashing hard blocks. Press ZR once for a single strike, or press and hold to hit continuously. You can switch tools at any time by pressing A. Okay. Oh, I see. So, hammer or gloves. Okay. Uh, let's 
break some more of this. You call that a treasure? It looks like a tatty old notice board to me. May seem ordinary to the untrained eye, but that notice board is in fact a portal with which a builder may peek, peek, peek into other dimensions. I'll explain more later. For now, just peer into the portal and marvel all the knock, knock, knock out things you see. The notice board is where builders go to share their favourite snaps. Use it when you want to show off or need a spark of inspiration. You must pick it into the network to access the notice board. You must create an account if you want to enjoy the game's online features. Uh. I agree. Okay, so you can share stuff you've built with other players, I guess? Sounds cool. Your account has been registered successfully. Connecting. Yeah, you can share pictures you've taken of stuff you've built. That's pretty cool. I like it. Also, it looks like you can get different outfits because these people are dressed completely differently to me. So that's good. Oh ho ho, did you like what you saw, young young youngins? Oh yes, I saw the most wonderful photographs and there were so many of them. I hope Danielle takes the time to snap a few herself. I can be her model. And then she can post them on the notice board and share them with the world. Ho ho ho, young young youngins, enjoy yourselves. Come and find me when you're done done done. We're waiting out right out here. Open menu plus and press X to snapshot mode. You can stop to 99 something in your album, which counts for the missus on the menu. Okay. Uh, do I have to do that right now? Yes, looks like it. This isn't a really interesting place to take a picture of. There we go, that looks really creepy. It's perfect. Uh, A button? Yeah. Blur the background and bring the subways out. Okay. Oh, I see. You can... A bunch of options you can use to adjust this stuff. Blur stuff. Is that doing anything? I guess the background is too close, so it isn't doing very much. Hashtag no filter. Cool. Uh, I guess I'm done. Oh, there's a little clock in the corner now. I think that's new. Neat. <laughs> we done now? Ho ho ho! So how do you like your new notice board? It's quite the snap snap snapper's paradise, isn't it? As long as you have one of those boards nearby, you can flout 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 the oars of time and space and observe the work of other builders whenever you desire. And you can put your creations on display for other builders of you too. I'm sure you can see the notice board is a super, super, super source of ideas and inspiration. Half of that was complete gibberish to me, but it helps you build the palace of my dreams. I'm all for it. Speaking of which, I can't see you making much progress on that anytime soon. There's one rather big stumbling block that's getting in the way. It's this island. There are hardly any raw materials. I don't think even a master builder would contemplate constructing a castle out of scallywinkles and kelp. Oh, oh, oh I know that little less, less lassie. There's only one way to get your hands on the materials you need. Track, track, track them down elsewhere and bring them back here. Elsewhere? As the young Dam Dam Damsel pointed out, this island is little more than a lack, more than a little lack, lack, lacking in useful materials from an aspiring builder. Even if you had everything you needed, I doubt you'd make much head, head, headway with just three of you. Wooden stone, stone, stone are all well and good, but you really need is people. I travel to other islands and bring back, back, back a few friends to help you out. Besides, it gets right lonely, rap, rap, rattling around on this big island all by yourself. A few fresh spaces will really liven the place up. Hold on, I thought we were stranded here. How are we supposed to hit these other islands without a ship? Ho oh, ho ho, a top, top, top notch question indeed, and one that the heavens shall soon answer. You're just winging this, aren't you? You don't have a clue. Um, oh, there's a boat. Ho ho ho, a ship, ship, ship. Whoever could have, th whoever would have thought it. That was easy. <laughs> we can take that guy's ship, are we gonna steal it? Is that the idea? 
We're doing this on purpose now. Alright, out with it. Who are you really? You can cut all that guardian spirit rubbish. Well, to tell you the truth, I can't remem remember who I am. I'm not even sure I'm not even sure I ever knew. But I've got a funny feeling that it'll all come right back 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 to me if I watch Janiel work her building magic. Well, there's no time like the present. Let's go and speak to the captain of that ship and get the work started. Destination on your map. Okay. Um I think I'm probably done for this video. I've been playing for like an hour and a half. And I've got a decent idea of what the game's like. I think I might be nearing the end of the demo though, so I might just go... If I jump off here, will I get hurt? Apparently not. Okay. Let's just go talk to the builder of the, the ship captain and see if that ends the demo. I have a feeling it might. Oh, you, do, you take fall damage. Oops. Oopsie daisies. Hello, ship captain. Hoi there, me briny build drats. I haven't seen any other humans for fathoms. My name's Brownbeard. I was painting the ocean blue, minding me bee's knees when I sailed right into the path of one of the children of Harlequin's slave ships. I managed to avoid him only by steering into a terrible storm. By the time I realized my map was back to front, I was already stuck in a coffee stain. I tried to turn back, but I was lost at sea. That's when I eyed this island on my port, bo port board bow and punted over. So, what's your story? How did ye young whip snapper whippers end up here? My name's Lulu, and this is the kingdom of Lulutopia, or at least it will be, once Daniel here is finished with it. Lulutopia, eh? Sounds like a lovely place for land lovers like yourselves. Lovers. It's land lovers. Come on. Aye, and a safe haven for a salted old sea dog like me. Goddess only knows what, what would have become of me if I hadn't sloshed up on these shores. Goddess only knows what this guy's talking about. Tell you what, if you let me stick around, I'll be your chauffeur. I'll sip you off to any island from here to the second stain on the map's backside. Or at least I'll try. You see, I know these oceans like the back of me neck, and I don't know me neck at all. If you hear of any islands nearby, I'll happily ferry you over. Well, you both do it on the small side, but it looks in decent nick. I say we've got a deal. Oh, ho, it seems everything is dropped off, dropping into place. The fine captain will take you to nearby islands, where I'm sure you'll find plenty of materials and able bod bod body helpers to bring back. Well, the first thing Lulu Topia needs is a little greenery. I can picture it now. Tree-lined boulevards, spacious parks, and tables sagging under the weight of freshly picked vegetables. In that case, you should first visit Furrowfield, an island to the east, famed for its fertile fields and fruit fruit fruitful farms. The island is home to a young lass with a bright future in farming and a dash dash dashing dandy with a bushy beard. They should be able to help your cause. A mark 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 on Captain Brownbeard's map. You just leave the sailing to him. You heard the magic monster, Danielle. Come and find me when you're ready to go, and we'll weigh the anchor. It was five tons last time I checked. <laughs> Ahoy, Danielle. Where will we be holding anchor to today? Okay, so stuff appears on the map like this. You have to hold the fire field. Yeah, let's go. When you travel between islands, your save data will be overwritten. Your auto save will be deleted. Please don't exit the game in front of the console until you reach your destination. Ahem. <clears throat> you sure you want to continue? Sure. But I must warn you, this vessel ain't built for chugging cargo. Ahem, you have to leave behind everything you gathered here and fish for more materials when we reach our destination. Wait, really? Then, what's the point of doing this? Because we need to bring stuff back. Hmm. Danielle safely stows her stuff in the storage sack. Hmm. Danielle, Malroth. You decide to go to this new island, then? Yep, we're not sticking around here any longer. Hop aboard, Lulu, you're coming too. Actually, I think I'll stay here. What the? Thought you'd leave all the hard work to us, did you? Just get on board. I'm sorry, but I can't. After what happened on Hargon's slave ship, I don't think I can stomach setting foot on a boat right now. But don't let that stop you from exploring the Sparrowfield place. I'll be fine here. I'm tougher than I look, I'll have you know. You've got a big responsibility on your shoulders now. Lulutopia needs materials, food, and new citizens. You have to find them and bring them back. Oh, and if you meet this farming prodigy out there, make sure she teaches you how to turn this island into a green and pleasant land. Together we can make Lulutopia a verdant paradise fit for a princess such as myself. Ho ho ho! You two go off off on your little adventure. Lulu will be safe here in my care. Ha, <laughs> see if we can trust a word you say. Still, I think Lulu's neck on the line. 
Alright, let's roll. We round up all these furrow fielders and put them to work in the sweatshops of Malroth's Empire of Evisceration. Malroth, I hate you. I hate you so much. When you get back, we have a grand gala jamboree to celebrate Lulutopia's Foundation Day. Bon voyage! <laughs> come, come on, Daniel, I can't wait to see what furrow field is like. All this talk of food and farming is making my tummy rumble. All aboard for Cabroad, time to set sail. Okay, we're on the boat. Goodbye, First Island. So, the Lord of Destruction has branded a builder. Um, yep. I mean, I hate him. Destiny moves in mysterious ways. Neither men nor monsters can escape its influence. Continue. I, I, I read it. But now is the time of creation. Build to your heart's content, young builder, while we await the day of awakening. Okay. Continue. Okay. I'm going to. There is only one who can save this world from oblivion. Malroth, the Lord of Destruction. That doesn't really make sense to me, but alright. Seems to be missing the idea of what a, a destruction is, and what oblivion is. Surely it'd be Todd Howard who can save this world from oblivion by re-releasing Skyrim. <laughs> Sailing. Sailing. Oh. It's really weird that I couldn't bring my possessions with me. Like, they fit in my pockets, apparently, or whatever. I can walk around with them, and I can stand on the ship. So you'd think I could stand on the ship with the stuff I was carrying, but apparently not. So that's weird. Um, it's taking a while. Okay, there we go. Forrowfield, the land of verdant vegetation. Here we are at last. That hairy hermit's got a nerve sending us all the way out here on a boat like this. The way it was listing from side to side, I'm amazing we're here at all. Well, list or no list, you're safe and sound on dry land now. Welcome to Furrowfield. Yarr! At least I assume it's Furrowfield. I ain't never heard of the place myself, but it don't look like Baron or Zahan, I can tell you that much. Anyway, I'm heading out for a bit to get the lie of the sea. But don't worry, I won't sail away into the sunrise. We'll be back in time to take you both home. <laughs> I think this guy's been drinking too much seawater. Come on, Daniel, let's get going. I want to see what this island's got in store for us. Okay. Let's go. Well, looks like Minecraft. There's a bed there. Wanna take a rest? This island's pretty weird, don't you think, Daniel? The trees are all withered, the ground's gross and slimy, and the whole place stinks like someone left a sack of apples in the sun for a month. Do you really think we'll find the greenery we're after in a slimy, stinky place like this? Huh? Whoa, what the heck's that? It's some kind of pink pulsating thing. But what is it? I think it's some kind of fruit. I wonder what it tastes like. You reckon the whole thing's edible, or...? Bleah. Stupid thing just blew up in my face. 
And what a stink, it's turned the dirt around it all gross and slimy too. Ha ha ha, I've heard of fruit going off before, but not like that, this place is crazy. Huh? I smell a fire brewing, Danielle, over there. L leave me alone, there's no point trying to eat me, I'm nothing but skin and bone. Eek! Ha ha ha, sounds like fun. Come on, let's go and see what all the screaming's about. Screaming is not fun. Maroth, leave me alone, I don't like you. Bad boons. That's kind of funny. The bad boons are defeated. Ha! Huh, that'll teach those monkeys to mess with us. Right, time to get some info out of Sally's screams a lot. Hey, Sally screams a lot. This is how I die, as dinner for a big stinky ape. I hope I give them a horrible indigestion. Wait, the monsters, they're gone. Those scaredy cats must have turned tail and fled when they finally worked out who they were dealing with. Hee <laughs> hee. Since when have you two been standing there? Since you beat the monsters. Oh, I see. Thanks for your help. My name's Rosie. What's yours? And what are you doing here? He's Malroth the Amnesiac and you're Daniel the Apprentice Builder? And you've come here to find out how to add a little greenery to your island. You know, going around telling everyone you're a builder is a risky business. There's no telling how they might react. You're lucky you met me, and I might be lucky that I met you. Hmm. Alright, my mind's made up. You can't make an omelette without breaking a few rules. As the finest farmer on Forrowfield, it's my duty and pleasure to give you the grand tour of its finest farm. Come on, follow me. Shall we go? Well, here we are, Burrowfield Farm, the greatest, greenest garden on the island. How do you like it? Uh, I don't mean to burst your bubble, but it's not that great. It's not very green. It isn't even a garden. <laughs> oh, I know, that's because we haven't built it yet. Huh? Burrowfield used to be a plant that was paradise with vegetables and flowers growing everywhere and anywhere. But then the spoil spores appeared and turned all the earth into horrible, stinky slime. You can hardly even grow weeds in it. There was once a great farm here, the biggest and brightest on the whole island. If all of us put our minds to it, I think we can bring it back. All of us? Are those guys are those guys mixed up in this too? Come, Perry, there's be something we can do. This is the last of our wheat, not to mention the soil. We've scanned some of arable earth as it is. I won't stand so close if I were you, Mr. Bonanzo, sir. This here spoil spool looks like it could go off any minute. Suffering slimes. Bonanzo, Perry, are you alright? Quick, you two, we have to get over there and make sure they're okay. Bonanzo, Perry, are you alright? We are, Rosie, but alas, our wheat is not. That spore sports obliterated the entire crop. And who are you two, pray tell? I've not seen your faces before, and to be honest, I think I rather liked it that way. Rude. I should probably stop playing, it's been like nearly two hours. 
This is Danielle, and this is Malroth. Danielle says she's a builder. Blimenek, what kind of maid goes around telling everyone she's a builder? She must have something wrong with her head. Well, Sal, so, listen here, young Rosie. You may have fooled us this far. We shall not be taken for ninnies. Do you honestly expect us to believe that this so-called builder will somehow salvage this prosperous plan of yours? You are gravely mistaken. Come along, Perry. We're leaving. Oh, well, all right. You must face facts, my dear. Farrowfield Farm is gone. The dream is over. It is time to wake up. So I'm guessing I'm going to rebuild this. <sighs> that stuck-up beardy bloke really rubbed me up the wrong way. Still, facial hair felonies aside, he's got a point. There's no, there's no point trying to rebuild this farm if the soil's no good. You're wasting your time. No, I'm not. I'm the finest farmer in Farrowfield, and Daniel's a real live builder. If we work together, I know we can do it. Wow, you really don't know when to give up, do you? Why do you want to rebuild this place anyway? Why? It's like Bonanzo said, it's my dream! A dream, huh? You know, I never really got my head around all this hopes and dreams stuff people go on about. Please, Danielle, I can't do it on my own. You'll help me rebuild Farrowfield Farm, won't you? Yes, of course. Yippee! Now that I've got a builder on board, the farm's as good as built. Danielle, Malroth, welcome to the team. We're gonna make this place the best farm ever. Let's get started then, shall we? The first thing we'll need is a field to plant our crops in. Hmm, where's the best place to put it, I wonder? If only we had some kind of sign. Eureka, Danielle learns a new recipe. Scarecrow, farming equipment. What's the matter, Danielle? You're looking very pleased with yourself. You've worked out how to build scarecrows? Of course, scarecrows are always found in fields. If we stick one in the ground, everyone will know that's where a new field is. Hmm, so where should we put it? Oh, why not just the spot? There's still a little bit of good, clean soil over there. I'm so excited, I can hardly wait to start tilling the soil. But not until you officially mark the field with a scarecrow, of course. If you need materials, you can get cord from the vines that grow around here and wood from the trees. You just have to hit them with your hammer. Go on, Danielle, build the scarecrow and put it in the middle of our new field. Oh, I can climb that. Get some cord. Fines, 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 fines. I guess the ones I'm just climbing on? Yeah. Is that enough to make a scarecrow? Now, is that what I think it is? Really creepy scarecrow? It is, now that we have a scarecrow, everyone will know where to plant our crops. Alright, you can leave the next step to me, it's tilling time. Okay, so... She's gonna start tilling by herself? Yeah, okay, I get it. So, you do stuff to tell the other people what to do, and then they go and do it by themselves. Neat. Neat, neat. Time for a swim. And it's gross water. <laughs> Daniel obtains a strange something. It's a heart. It's clearly a heart. Ah, oh, farming's so much fun. I'm so happy I could pop. Look pretty cheery just now, too. Waving your arms in the air with a big grin on your face. What was that about? Huh? Something popped out of me? And you picked it up? Hmm. I didn't feel like I was bursting with gardening glee just now. Maybe just... Maybe some of that happiness actually burst out. Well, whatever it was, it's sure to come in useful. If any more doesn't pop out of me, make sure you scoop them all up. Gratuitous gratitude. Kind of strange, but okay. 
like how the she's like killing it in this direction, but the burrows are coming out in the opposite direction. Makes perfect sense. What do you think, Danielle? I've killed the earth around the scarecrow. I couldn't have done it without you. With your excellent inventions and my farming finesse, we'll be able to make some fantastic fields. I knew there was something special about you from the moment we met. Okay. After all, everyone would risk their life telling a stranger they're a builder. You don't see what's so dangerous about that? Huh, have you been living under a rock or something? Everyone knows the builders are the enemy. Anyway, we better get back to business. We have a field. Now let's grow some crops. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna cut- I'm gonna call it here rather than continuing with the next bit. So, my thoughts so far. I think the visuals are a little lacklustre. I still think that. They're- they're not bad, but I think they could be better with the hardware at- at- available here. I think the Switch is capable of a little better. I mean, the draw distance is pretty good. You can see pretty far. Uh, and it looks Minecrafty, which is nice, but... I think things are a little lower fidelity than maybe I think they should be. Eh, it's okay. Uh, the controls are real good. Um, I haven't actually tried all the buttons. Uh, down doesn't do anything. Up gives you this menu, so you can look at your items and stuff. Tidy up. Oh, I see. It reorganizes stuff for you. That's cool. Um, minus is bird's eye view. Oh, that's what that does. Cool. Warp list. Oh, I can warp places, okay. Didn't know that was even an option. Uh, I can press, click the right stick to switch view. Okay, so you can play in first person if you want, and it looks like Minecraft. Uh, so that's useful if you want to play more like Minecraft. Or in third person, if you want to play it more like this game. <laughs> uh, let's just keep grabbing these. Good job well done, I agree. Um, minus, yeah, that's that, I just did it a second ago. Uh, plus, use inventory build a Peter save and misc. Uh, if you go minus, you can actually go to the map by pressing A. Oh, yeah, and then you can walk to different places. Neat. I really like how the map looks with these little pixels. Super cute. <sighs> um. The menu looks pretty cute too. You've got your inventory here, the Buildopedia, which tells you about everything. First, look at the kelp here. You can scroll through and check out different stuff. That's cool. Uh, you can look up the monsters if you want. You find out where they show up in the game, that sort of thing. Cool. Rooms. I think this. I haven't learned the different types of rooms yet. I just know that rooms exist, so I'll have to wait, I suppose. You can look up old blueprints that you've already done. Cool. 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 Um, yeah, I think I'm pretty much done for this video. I'm just gonna, uh, hit the perma save. There we go. There we go. Um, yeah, I really like the look of this game. I'm gonna continue to the end of the demo off camera. I don't know if I'll buy. I'll think about it a bit more as I play through the rest of the demo, which I did think was gonna end as soon as I did the first island, but it, do it doesn't. I'm on the second island now, so... M maybe this is the island you get to play in the demo, and then the next one is the one you don't get to go to. I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Oh, hello. I just discovered, you click the... You click down the um, left stick and it lets you do gestures by looking things. These controls are weird. You have to hold the, you hold down the left stick, then you use the right stick to pick what you want to do, and you have to press ZR to actually do it. Yep. That's weird. <laughs> it's it's a useful feature, I guess. I think in might there's a multiplayer mode or something maybe, and you could use that to indicate to other players what you're doing. Maybe I'm not sure. I don't know what L does yet. I have I've been pressing it. It doesn't seem to do anything. Might, might not have unlocked what it does yet. Same with ZL. Oh, hang on. ZL looks like a lock-on option of some kind. Makes you sidestep. Kind of like in um, 
Zelda. Cool. And then ZR is how you use the tools, and regular R is how you run. Okay, um, yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I didn't overstay my welcome by recording for nearly two hours instead of one, but yeah, um,